Hello guys! Today I'm going to talk about the new module, which is async.js. As you know, Node.js is a non-block I.O. language or a synchronized language. For example, you have these three lines of code. Let me copy them and paste it here. Okay. The first line will be executed very fast as it's just a simple print. The second line may take seconds or few seconds to be executed because it's querying DB and basically we don't know how many records are in the database and the table. In normal programming language like Java, C Sharp or PHP, the third line of the code won't be executed until the second line finishes job. It means application stops on line number two until the result backs to the retreat. But in Node.js, the story is totally different. It means the third line will be executed right after the second line is called. And the result from the second line will be sent to user once it's done. In another word, third line won't wait for any result of second line. It's very cool, right? And we should say thank to Node.js, but this feature can cause problem as well. If the third line of the code needs value from the second line for its operation. Look at this example. Look at this example. The third line of the code needs value from the second line unless there is nothing for it to print because in the first in the second line we query the database and we push everything to the student object. And in the third line we want to print that object. But if application goes to the third line since there is no result from the second line so there is nothing to print okay so the async object and async module can fix this problem for us how i will show you just let me copy an example this is what async will do it for us Basically, with the async, you can have a list of functions that need to be run parallel and also you can have one callback function to be executed after all functions are executed. Something like this. For example, you have the first line, you have the second line, and for the third line, you only run the third line if the second, the second line is executed and you got back the result. Okay. Let's see how we can work with it. In order to use a sync, first you need to install the module. For this one, I'm using WebStorm and I can just press Alt F12 and go to the terminal. If you are using any other editor and ID, that's fine. You can just go to the any terminal, move to the project folder and run what I'm running here. Node package manager install async. Okay, we need to wait until it's finished. Okay, it's done. Now we are ready to code. Okay, first I need to create object sync equal to require the object is sync. Oops. Okay. The second thing that I need is a stack because I want to push all the functions there. Oops, something wrong with me today. Stack. Now I need to have, for example, three function. Function. Function one. Callback. That's it. Okay. And I need to call back. For example, there is no error, so error is null, and I just return this message. This is a first function. Okay? That's cool. Let me copy this function. I'll create two more copy here. Second, or sorry, not second. Here is two, 
here is second, here is three, and here is third. Okay, next step is to push these functions to the stack. Stack dot push. Okay, I'll just need to name the function. Okay. To make our life easier, I just copy two times. Okay. I replace the function name here and here. Now I have a stack that contains three functions. Let's see how we can use sync to run these three functions together and also we add one more callback function that we have it here. Okay, so sync dot parallel. Okay. It accepts two parameters. The first is our stack, which is list of functions that need to be run. And second is a callback function. I just come with a very uh, simple function. Oops, there is something wrong with me. Error. And second is result. Okay. I'll show you what we are going to show here. For example, console.log and result. We will print the result. Okay, before I run the code, I want to tell you what's going on here. You have you have a sync object, you have a stack, and you have three different functions that need to be run parallel. And also you have one callback function which is here. Okay and you want to run this function after all these three functions are executed. So, and you have async object which is created from the async module. So async.parallel, you pass the stack, oh sorry, before that you need to push all the functions to this stack. So this stack has three functions now and you pass the stack to, to the parallel and the second one is the function, the callback function. So it means that the request goes here. This is the callback. So after the callback, it comes here. Goes to here, comes here. Goes, comes here. Okay. Let's run and let's see what we can see. Okay. This is the first function. This is the second function. And this is the third function. So all the request comes back to here. I want to show you that this function, this function is exactly executed after this. If I want to show you, I just try to write the console log. Okay, this is a test. Let's run it one more time. You can see this line executed first because it's here, and then this one, this callback. Okay, let me do one more time, for example, here as well. Okay, this is a test two. One, two, and then the rest. So this result that you can see here comes from this function. And this function is a callback. So now we back to this scenario. Let me copy what we had here. Okay, just as an example. It's not a proper code. I just want to show you. Okay, this is the example that I show you uh, at the beginning of this tutorial you have one function then you have this function and then this so you can put these two functions you can push these two functions into the stack then th this function which is printing the this function print the student can be a callback here and this function can be any of this so after this one is finished you can call the others Maybe it doesn't make sense when you have two functions, but it really makes sense when you have more functions to be run. For example, you have one, two, three, four, or more than that. And after all those functions are executed, you want to run one more. And you want to make sure that this callback function only will be executed if the rest 
are executed. Let me show you something here as example. For example, just remove this. I just remove this one as well. So here I try to return back error. Error and I don't want to return anything. No. Okay. Let me execute it. You can see the function is stopped here because the first function raise an error. So the rest are not executed at all and the callback also the same because there is a sequence and there, these are are not executed because there is one error here so it can guarantee that the callback won't be executed unless this function unless this function executed properly okay guys there are more things about the async and uh, i may uh, record a new video to go a bit uh, in details and go deeper about the async and explain it to you uh, my suggestion to you is that don't just look at this video don't just uh, stop your training here you can search about the async you can search about other things node.js is a very very big uh, framework and there are lots of modules that are adding to this uh, node.js every day some of them are really really cool some of them is just a normal one uh, if you want to be a master of Node.js, you need to keep studying Node.js, you need to keep studying the new modules, uh, try to read more code, try to, I don't know, just look at the examples online. There are so many resources uh, out there that you can look at it. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. And uh, for now, I'll say bye until the next video.